Welcome to New Vegas Mod Clinic Part 3. In this episode, I'm going to cover how to mod the game to make the Mojave a more immersive and interesting place to explore. We're going to be doing things like adding better trees, cactuses, some new textures, uh, street lights, and that sort of thing. We're also going to be revisiting a mod I covered in one of my earlier tutorials, the Nevada Skies. Now that mod is a weather mod. Um, and it essentially makes uh, the Nevada skies look so much better, uh, uh, far more blue, far more intense. Um, it makes the nighttime far darker, far more intimidating and a little bit scary. Um, and it also adds things like rain, um, which can vary from light rain to very, very heavy thunderstorms, uh, alongside with lightning, etc. And it adds uh, snow sandstorms etc uh, just generally overall enhances the gaming experience a hell of a lot now i've covered nevada skies in a previous video a tutorial video but things have changed a tiny bit since then um, if you look at the file section there are now a few less files and there is also a newer version now um, i can tell you that the new version has the weather effect but it uses the vanilla colors the vanilla light so it looks very similar to the way the vanilla game looks and i prefer the original i prefer the colors and light that yusarian the mod author chose um or the ones that mercurius uh, picked in the urwl version so i'm still recommending you either pick the urwlified version or the standard Nevada Skies 0.63 version. If you want to use the URWL version, it's very, very simple. It's a single file now. You download that, turn it into a phone mod, and install it. It's ridiculously easy. So I'm going to show you how to do the standard one because it's just slightly uh, more complicated, but not much. So you're going to need to download the NSKY 06 data and the NSKY 063 ESP. Once you've got the files, simply add FOMOD, pick the NSKYS data one, make a copy of the original file, and do the same for the ESP one. Now the data has all the resources and the ESP just the actual mod file, so you will need both of them. Activate them, it takes a, not very long really, a few seconds. Activate the ESP. Now they're both installed. Nevada Skies should come towards the end of your load order, but it's recommended, I think, by the mod authors of Dynavision and Electro City that Nevada Skies comes just before Dynavision 2 and Electro City. Imaginator. So if you're using the Dynavision or the Imaginator mod, they come after Nevada Skies. And obviously if you're using Director's Chair, which uses those two files, that comes last. But Nevada Skies comes basically last apart from those three files. And that's it, it's installed. Now the next mod we're going to cover is the NMC Texture Pack. Now this texture pack is huge. It basically replaces most of the textures in the game on um, world objects with very high quality, very detailed textures. So it's not uh, changing things like NPCs, weapons, armor, etc. It's just things like walls, rocks, roads, signs. Um, I mean, so many things, it's, it's ridiculous. This is a very, very large texture overhaul. Um, and the detail on some of these textures is absolutely incredible. Now, many of you may be aware and may even be using um, the Ojo Bueno or Poco Bueno textures, which are equally as impressive. Um, they are slightly different, and it is a matter of personal taste as to which you might prefer. And you may actually prefer some textures in one mod and another from the other mod. Now, it is actually possible to use both of these mods at the same time. The NMC texture pack is huge. It replaces a lot more textures. Um, so you can install that. And then if you like the Poco Bueno textures, the specific ones that he's made in that mod, you can actually um, install that one over the NMC 
textures. And then you get Poco Bueno textures where possible, and where there are none of those, it uses the NMC ones instead. Now, installing this mod is pretty easy. Um, just go along to the web page and the file section. Now, although it's easy, these files are huge. Um, and you have to choose between the large, the medium, and the small. But be aware, the small is one gigabyte, and that's compressed. Um, the small pack is what I'm going to install uh, for this particular run. And there are two files to download, part one and part two. Plus, you also need to download any patches. Now, at the current time, there is a patch for the small texture pack. So I'm going to download that as well. So those are the files you're going to need. Now, once you've downloaded them, you're going to open up Fallout Mod Manager, open up the Package Manager, as, as usual, and again, add full mod. Now, pick the first file. It's pretty clearly marked, NMC's Texture Pack for New Vegas Small, and at the end it has Part 1. Pick part one and just that one just pick that one even though it comes with two files for the small and even more files for the large ones just the first one click on open and it immediately tells you there are two files that, um, that must be extracted and repacked so you click on OK and it then goes off and does this for you now this is going to take some time because it is a large mod Okay, so that's that one done. Uh, now let's also add the foam mod for the patch in this case, an MC texture pack small patch. Uh, this is pretty small. Right, so first thing to do, the texture pack, the main one, not the patch, activate that first. Now this will take quite a lot of time. Uh, it is unpacking uh, basically two gigabytes of textures. And this is just the small pack. Now, the if you're wondering what the difference is between small, medium, and large, from what I can gather, there's no difference in the textures. They look the same. It's just the bigger textures are higher quality. And as such, if you're using very high resolution monitors, they will look better. But they will push your machine to the absolute limit. The small pack, for me, is brilliant. It looks 10 times better and it runs like a dream for me no problem whatsoever the mod is installed now uh, or at least the main mod is we also need to patch it that is a lot smaller so hopefully it'll there we go yes to all you're replacing some textures and that's it and MC's texture pack is installed now if you want to install the Poco Bueno textures over the NMC ones um, just download that file from the page and install as normal. Now it'll begin to install the foam mod. It will start putting the textures in place and at a certain point it will ask you do you wish to overwrite the NMC texture pack. Now you can either go through each of these one at a time and choose yes or no depending on which texture you want or no to all or yes to all. I don't know how many of these textures overlap um, so really you're going to have to figure that out yourself, but I'm just going to click yes to all from now on. Now this is going to mean all of the Ojo Bueno, all of the Poco Bueno textures are installed and anything it didn't touch will be an, M and an NMC texture. And it's finished installing and that's it. You now have NMC and Poco Bueno installed. Now the next mod is uh, going to install a lot of Flora and it's called Vert's Flora Overhaul. And as you can clearly see, it's added a lot of trees, a lot of grass and cacti to the game. Um, apparently, according to the author, these are all these are all trees and grass and f general flora that you will find in the Mojave Desert. Uh, and I will take his word for it. And as you can see, it just looks far greener, a lot more interesting. Very, very, very uh, visually pleasing. 
Um, it is perhaps a little too green for for a nuclear wasteland. If if you like me feel that the wasteland should look a little bit more uh, desolate and perhaps a little dead, don't worry. He actually has a dead wasteland version of the mod, which uh, makes everything look a lot browner, a lot more yellow, and, and reduces the amount of flora, while still uh, giving it a far more interesting look, a far more detailed look to the land. And actually, this is the version I prefer. This is the one I use. Now, installing this mod is not that difficult, but it does require a tiny bit of explanation. At the time of this video, there was, or is, <laughs> two versions that you can use. Um, there is the standard Vertz Wasteland Flora Overhaul 2.6, um, and this is the one the mod author actually supports. Then there is also another version um, underneath it that has a faux mod script. Now, the problem with this version is, as of 2.6, there is a slight bug in the faux mod. And if you choose to install the, um, the dead version, um, it fails. It installs the wrong textures. So, you can actually fix that yourself if you want to try. That's no problem. But for now, I am going to show you how to install the normal version. Um, if, by some chance, the, um, the foam mod version is fixed when you get there, it's gone beyond 2.6, um, it's pretty easy to install, and it's actually kind of a cool foam mod at the moment. If I, if I download that file, which I have, and add foam mod, make a copy of the original, and then I activate it, you get a very nice installer. As you can see, lots of options, etc. But the dead wasteland version, that's the version that's a little less green, uh, unfortunately is bugged. So you will need to fix it yourself. And I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to install this the way the mod author intended. Now, the mod author's file comes as a RAR file and has two folders in it. Now, what I'm going to tell you to do is extract those to wherever it was you stored it. So there we have data folder and the ESPs folder. Now I'm going to make three foam mods. The first foam mod I'm going to make, oh, excuse me, you're going to do this from the create from folder option. And I'm going to go to the folder I just extracted, and I'm going to go to select the data folder. Now this contains all the meshes and textures that both versions need. So no matter which version of this mod you're going to install, you are definitely going to need this full mod. So that is the data one finished. I'm going to give that a decent name though. I'm going to edit info and call it ver flora overhaul dash data so this is the first foam mod I'm going to need I'm going to then create another foam mod back to the same folder I extracted but this time I'm going to go to the ESPs and I'm going to select the WFO fertile wasteland folder as you can see just select that folder, click OK. You'll notice now it has got a foam mod called WFO Fertile Wasteland. I now do the same thing, this time for the dead wasteland. So I'll now have three foam mods. The first thing I do is I activate, Activate the data folder. Yes to all. And wait for that to install. Now this is the big one. This is the one that takes time. I then choose which of these two options I want. The fertile wasteland or the dead wasteland. 
I only need one of them. But because of the way I'm doing this, I can actually install the Fertile Wasteland, try it out. If I don't like it, deactivate it, and then activate the Dead Wasteland. So I'll show you how to do that. Deactivate the Fertile Wasteland, activate the Dead Wasteland. You'll notice the Dead Wasteland installed a few extra textures that overwrote the default ones. Click yes to all. Those are the, the non-green textures. And it's as simple as that. And you can go between, uh, between those different options as often as you like. Turn off the dead one, activate the fertile one. And that's it. You've now installed this. It's ready to go. But before you start the game, just remember, check that the vertswfo.esp is selected. And I would recommend moving it above Nevada Skies. Remember, if you're using Nevada Skies, and you really should be, um, this should come very low in your load order. And the last mod we're going to install is Electro City. Now, this is a mod that adds a lot of lights to the whole land. Street lights and lights in other places. It generally makes the, the nighttime world uh, look a lot more interesting. It helps you see in the dark if you've got a very dark nights mod like Nevada Skies, etc. Generally this is a mod that really adds character to the nighttime. Now to install this mod, first of all we download the file. It comes as a single archive at the moment. And once we've saved this we're going to need to extract it to a folder. Um, and that's because there are several things we need to do before uh, we turn this into a full mod. So extract it to wherever you want. I'm going to extract it to my desktop. And then, well, you can delete the archive. And then open up that folder. Now, there are two ESM files in this. The first one is the completed work orders, which we need. And the next one is highways and byways. Now, the highways and byways ESM is a file that adds street lights to all the highways. Now, there's not really any reason there should be street lights on the highways. It's a desert. So, although some people like this, I am going to delete it because I do not want that. It makes the wasteland look a little bit too bright. There are also some optional files for inventory sorters. Uh, I am not using that mod, so I'm going to delete that. And there is also another optional folder with darker nights um, options. Now I'm using Nevada Skies, which already has very dark nights, so I can delete that. There's also some readmes, text files, etc. I suggest you read those. They are, they are useful, and it's always nice to know that people are reading the uh, documents that come with the mods. But that's it. Our, our, our directory is now ready to be made into a full mod. So we go to create from folder and select our Electro City folder, the one we've just edited, and turn it into a full mod. When it's finished, simply activate it and it will do the rest. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope we manage to make uh, the world a little bit more of an interesting place for you to play in. And I hope you join me for part four. I will be covering some lesser known mods that I have to think are absolutely brilliant. See you then.